everybody. This video is brought to you by Paint22 and all my sponsors. Thank you for your support and can't wait to get the video started. Let's go. Hey, welcome to Raven Oak Art. My name is Caleb Knowles and thank you so much for watching our video today. Uh, this one's going to probably be a little bit of a long one because as y'all can tell, I got a really long canvas and I've never actually painted on one of these before. So it's going to be interesting. And I just got some uh, easy dark colors on my uh, palette here. I have our titanium white, alizarin red, uh, Payne's gray, uh, Van Dyke brown. Oh, my bad. That's actually permanent purple. Van Dyke brown, black, and phthalo green. So it's an interesting palette. We're just going to kind of mess around with it, see if we make something. If not, then I guess I'll erase my video. But anyway, we'll just start off by forming some circles. So I got the Payne's Gray, which is actually one of my favorite colors to mess around with. And let me make sure you guys have a good view of everything. And we'll just kind of choose some spots with it. Just kind of like that. <laughs> Maybe another one here. Kind of give you an idea of where some stuff might be. And maybe we'll put one more here. Make him a little bit longer down here. And give up one final one right here. Alright, I like it. Now we'll go to our black. Some phthalo green. Kind of mix those two colors. Linseed oil, and we'll just kind of start throwing in some some shadows of stuff that might be growing right there. Maybe every once in a while, kind of add a touch of purple, the black mixture. It's really cool whenever you do some of these like flowers. You can kind of create some really neat effects using this abstractified presence and make sure you kind of go around the, the circle and um, you actually really don't want to have the same color so I just kind of did that as a a, um, a base coat to kind of give me a rough idea of where I might be throwing in some stuff but I'm gonna make it darker you really want it dark in the center round brush by the way I don't know if I said that, that but now we're gonna move over to our flat brush and we'll just kind of grab some of our permanent purple mix it with some of the phthalo green maybe add some some black to our phthalo green and we'll just kind of wiggle some stuff Really, you really want these uh, backgrounds to be abstract and not very uh, direct in the color. You don't want just one color up there. You want some mixtures and combinations. In fact, like maybe I'll even add a touch of red. Red might be a fun color to throw in there. We got like our beautiful like bouquet or floral arrangement. That beautiful the way that works. Alright, we got our, our beautiful 
less curve now. So let's kind of wiggle and pull. We're giving out some indications of maybe some beautiful leaves growing out here. And for this one, maybe we'll, we'll just kind of come to the back and Y'all can tell, but that's actually my favorite part. <laughs> actually, that's a lot. I like adding pedals. I think that's some of the, the most fun you can have with it. But I mean, all of this is fun. Painting itself is fun. There's so much stuff you can create. You can create things you've never actually seen. You know, your only limit is your mind. That's why. I think this is probably one of the best hobbies a person can have. And you can kind of see like these flowers and all this beautiful stuff kind of taking form. Maybe we'll add a touch of white. We got all this dark stuff. Maybe we can, we can add the white and oh man, look at that cool effect, how bright that is now. And what's cool is um, whenever you add the white, into the dark it it's like it just it's the perfect combination it brings out the best in one another so we'll throw this guy here and maybe i'll go back to some dark oh man Got a color. I might add some yellow to this at some point. I haven't decided yet. We got so much beautiful stuff going on. So you can just, you can just kind of give off some indications of stuff. It's a bright color here. You can just, just wiggle it, let it dance across your canvas. Impressionistic appearance of everything. 
So I just kind of see like mashes of color, which is okay, especially with this style. stuff here we got stuff growing down here it's a, kind of hard to see it because I got such a long canvas that's probably a good view of everything right there we can just we got the brown not the brown but the gray start kind of throwing more of that around your circles just to kind of give off an indication so you can tell what you're doing and another little tip right here, I actually have one of these sitting beside me, but you can find like little leaves and stuff, not leaves, little floral arrangements at your local Hobby Lobby or store or go to get some real ones from a florist or something, but it's always good to kind of have stuff like that sitting beside you. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to start kind of grabbing our blending brush. All this is is basically kind of like a makeup brush. I'll just start kind of blending around the edges, softening the edges. And this does so much cool effects. So we'll add a layer of this and then blend all the way around. Oh man, that's, that's great. Great stuff. So now we'll just kind of go back as I send a brush flying across the room. If you guys are enjoying these videos, seeing me throw stuff, um, make sure to click that subscribe button. We uh, have new videos all the time. And I hope you guys are able to pick up some awesome tips. We have great artists that come on. I know that we just had the episode with AJ come out recently. He's an incredible artist. And I plan on bringing some more. Bring this guy down, throw in some. Ain't that just cool the way that works? All these effects and all this magic. Back 
to that center. Man, these are gonna be beautiful. Let's see, what other colors we got? This is gonna be real purplish. So bang. Don't just have them like flat. You want some sticking out, petals grow all randomly. And that's perfectly fine. It's always nice to have something a little different. Especially when you got a bouquet. You don't want anything just balanced. You want it to, you guys ever go to your uh, local florist? She has them growing in all sorts of different directions to bring out the beauty of each individual flower. <laughs> Let's see what color I got there. I'll throw in some fans gray. Just make a darkish color for the bottom maybe. And we'll actually bring this guy like he's coming down this way. And just keep on getting those petals a blooming. Let's see which one's missing one. Maybe this guy here. This will be our last big flower. I'm just I'm having so much fun on. And then back. Really back. Maybe we can even kind of curve them back a little bit. Oh wow. All right. And add some touches of white. The, um, the flower. That's your goal there. Just a little indications and stuff. Alright, so we got that now. Now let's have some fun. I'm gonna clean off our uh, flat brush. And we're gonna Some stuff like maybe 
this guy is growing like that. I know that looks a little funny. It looks like I just put an eagle in there. But there is, in fact, a method to the, uh, the quote-unquote madness. But we'll just kind of start here and just... This will be another three. That'll be our third one in this group. And maybe here. And you may notice I'm still going back to that center. Regardless of where I go on here. It's kind of like we're, we got poppies or something. I just kind of like doing it like that from what I've learned so far. There's plenty of better floral teachers than me. Make sure to check out some other YouTube channels that educate with the florals. I was very lucky. I got a friend who uh, teaches florals and it's kind of how I learned how to do it. I'm actually going to kind of zoom the camera in a little bit. Hopefully that's a better view. You just load and a wolf. And right there. But yeah, these florals are pretty fun to do. That's Let's go to our next one and we're going to do the same thing here kind of map out our our areas that will be blocked and you can just start up here oh that's bright darken it a little bit. It's always better to kind of have it dark because you can always add more highlights. Right there. bring it out and Add some more white. Look how much is that touch of white as.
Ain't that beautiful the way that works? See, white's such a cool color when it comes to art because it can add so much detail through highlights. It can trick the eye into believing and seeing things that's not necessarily there. Like, it adds so much depth. Okay, so now we're gonna work our way down here. And since this one's facing out that way, we'll just kind of add it like that. And then, and then, because we're always heading back to our center point, which is about right there. Add some more reds or our palette color. And we'll just, maybe add a touch more. So we're probably going to have to add some more later on, but it's worth it. Don't forget to kind of bring it out. You want it to go outside of your flower. Seven. You can add more petals by working your way back in, just adding some white. Just kind of bringing them all back to the, the base point here. So we got that guy. Let's go down a little bit more. And we're going to do the same thing. We got a little bit of melting here. That's all good. It's kind of cool because it adds like its own little effects. But you can always just kind of work your finger back in there. Alright. You see yours melting very much. And that's normal. Upside down now. flower the leaf and just keep it rolling maybe we got something to grow over Man. and then we'll go back to our center you just
maybe you can even go back add some more pedals kind of like we did earlier just don't want to put too much but all right down to our last flower here actually let me just do this yep sorry we had a uh, little bit of a leakage but <laughs> I know why that's happening too, and I gotta fix that. I forgot to do this. This happened to another painting the other day, and I mixed too much baby oil with my linseed and too much turpentine. So, it a bit too thin, but nonetheless, we're still got a beautiful painting here. But yeah, we're still working our way back to right here. Each time we're aiming back. Working in threes. Well, this guy's gonna be a really pretty one. scrib liner which y'all see me normally sign most of my stuff with and I'm just gonna fill it up with some purple and just kind of go back and just add some dark areas actually I think I know one thing I do want to add just kind of go out here
just kind of whip it, make sure that you got, you don't want a big blob of a circle. I know mine kind of. It's a little funny there, but. Alright, but anyway, I'm gonna go back. Just use a darkish color. really did some amazing stuff. Anyway, so we got the purple. I'm even going to mix it in with some black. The whole goal here is just to kind of create this really wet, dark color. And we're just going to start adding little things like this guy. Dark indications. We got maybe some vines growing out up here. us a painting so I'm gonna go ahead and sign it do our clothes out all that fun stuff um, if you guys enjoyed this please make sure to like share subscribe our goal by the end of the year is to have at least 200 subscribers and we're already uh, 130 in so I think we're doing pretty good appreciate you guys so much for watching and giving me an opportunity to teach y'all some of the tricks that I've been very fortunate enough to learn from some awesome, awesome painters. And if you guys learned something, make sure to share with your friends and share this. Make sure that they get a chance to watch these videos. So... 2023 that is the year that we did this painting so uh, maybe one last little thing little trick we do so we grab a little brush like this and we'll just kind of flick in some of our wet paint Ow, that hurt. and just kind of get it all in one angle. Just kind of flick in some stuff. But yeah, that is our painting. Here, I'm going to zoom out. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Check out our YouTube channel. Oh, not our YouTube channel. You're on our YouTube channel. Our Instagram, Raven Oak Art. And we got, I've, I've caved in, finally got a TikTok. So make sure to check it out. Same name. We're this painting will be displayed and a bunch of other cool stuff but anyway thank you guys so much y'all have an awesome day happy painting to you and god bless you bye